Yeah, I know. I'm sure a lot of you guys are surprised to see this on our channel. Well, uh, a while ago we made a video that said that we're done with drones, but if you actually watch the video, we're not done with drones, and since then we've done some drones. The fact of the matter is we've just had so many on the market that we noticed were complete duds, it became not so much fun for us anymore, and we wanted to do things that were fun in the hobby for us. That's why you've seen so many jets and RC trucks and really cool things on the channel. Well, with a high, high, high request amount from you guys, we want to bring some drone content to you. And so we wanted to hit a price point that is very, very common with a lot of common features that we should see on drones in today's market. If they don't have these features, then they're just kind of lacking behind or they're in the toy grade category. This is a borderline hobby grade drone that has a GPS on board, everything's fully rechargeable and everything that you would expect, a Wi-Fi FPV camera feed, and this one actually has the ability to control the camera, the tilt up and down. So we've probably done close to a thousand drones on our channel. Having said that, with that experience and knowledge, we want to continue to bring drone content to you. We're just hoping to see an improvement in the overall quality in the drone market before we waste everyone's time and continue to show you dot after dot after lemon after lemon of bad drones. So now we're going to take a look at this Hobby Tiger GPS FPV camera drone. This should be a very beginner friendly, probably highly sought after around Christmas time type of drone available on Amazon so you've got your good return policy and uh, you know just all of the comforts of shopping on Amazon that's what you're gonna get here with this someone may shoot this down while we're trying to fly I don't know if you could hear that gunshot that was crazy very loud uh, well we're gonna test fly this for you test some of the functions out and the features and if we like what we see then we'll uh, show you a few more things at the end of the video and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let's do this. Okay, time for takeoff. It's been a while since we've done this. Just press the auto start button and it's doing everything else. I'm not touching a thing. So as of right now, this looks great. It's performing really well. Uh, <laughs> makes me happy because we've seen so many drones in the past, as you guys know, that just don't perform well, which is why we took a major break from them. But I, again, I'm not touching any controls yet. With a light breeze of maybe two to three miles an hour, I just wanted to see how this does on its own on an initial hover. A lot of times this is where we'll see our toilet bowl effect kick in. So for safety's sake, we all want to see that the drone flies safely and it does. So let's fly it out, up, and away some. That's my phone. Sorry You're popular that. today. Um, this video feed right now, as you guys can see, a live video recording looks pretty good for the price point that we're at on this drone. Isn't there a memory card in the camera? I think so. So what I'm going to do is press record. Mm. Had a little pop up saying to use cellular data. So what I'm going to do is press the record button on here. We're just going to hold it for, well, let's take a photo. Yep. Okay. Definitely took a photo. Yeah. No question about that. <laughs> I'm holding the same button. And I got, ah, see, I never do like this. I'm sorry to any drone company that's watching or listening. You hear that beep telling us that we're recording? I'm gonna do this for about 10 seconds here to let you guys see a sample of the quality, but then I'm gonna stop it and continue to just do a screen recording. Rotate so, the drone around or something. Yeah, I'm gonna fly around some. That's, I was thinking the same thing. There we go, I think we hit our, it's returning to home, or at least it, it did that, it took over right there. Kind of kind of funny. Uh, let's just go ahead and stop that beeping because I can't stand that beeping. And there are a few functions like follow me. We can. Here's what I like about this drone. We can adjust the angle up and down. So if I wanna look down into Death Valley, look, I can see the leg of the drone there. We can look down into Death Valley with this drone. Let's angle nice. it up a little bit. See, that, that comes in handy to be able to do remotely, and I do like that a lot. I'm just happy this drone is working. <laughs> Me too, not toilet bowling, yeah. and that says a lot about the drone market these days. And it's uh, a windy day. It is a windy day. I'm flying it a little closer to me, and then I'm going to press the active track button and see if that works. So follow me here, Abby.
should be able to see me, so I'm going to press the button. No, not having any luck with that, sadly, uh, but I mean at this price point I guess I wouldn't have expected all of these functions to work. I'm just going to fly this out and up and get a nice wide shot of the airfield because that stuff does seem to be working now. And with price point, is, with price point, you're talking about Amazon price point, which is always about 50 bucks more expensive. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. You're going to get it faster, and you have some customer service and a little better return policy. So that's as far as it's going to let me go. I think that's because we have a beginner restriction set within the app, and we do. So I went in there, assuming the screen recording is still working. You guys can see what I'm seeing. Turning beginner mode off. And I can adjust the flight distance. We'll just go up to almost 200 meters on all these things. The altitude and the return height. I don't need that to be any higher. We're gonna save that. And now we should be able to fly away farther. We turned that beginner mode off and lo and behold, we can. So when the drone kind of twitched earlier on its own, um, that was why. It like hit we a still wall have a really, with the yeah, distance. Right, an invisible wall, which is really good uh, for a drone to come out of the box like that, in my opinion. Uh, it's really so, far away too. Yeah, look at this. I mean, the video feed is still great. I'm really happy with that. For this price of drone, that's a good video feed. Let's keep going a little farther back. You guys, we are just those tiny little dots by the canopy there. And, you know, with me, I don't like to fly out of my comfort zone on a drone. Um, on our channel, we're not doing extreme distance tests because you should never in this hobby put anyone in any kind of danger at all with your drone or your RC stuff. And we're getting a little bit of latency here on our video feed. And I still have control over the drone, but the video feed is getting a big delay. Does it tell you how far away you are? Uh, it says distance is 103 meters. Hmm. Height is 23 meters. I'm rounding, rounding my numbers there. So I'm gonna fly back some and just get some shots of us in the clubhouse. Let's go down and we'll fly, we'll fly down close to the track and get some shots of the track. So the fact that this drone is functioning to the point where I can fly it and get shots of something that I want to get is a big deal. I'm a little disappointed that it has features and functions that aren't working really well, like the active track. Well, I mean, it's the only one you've tried so far. Yeah, but if you're gonna say it has it, it should work in my opinion. Uh, but you know, we're just being honest and real with you guys. Everything else about this drone is working great. So if you're looking for some early Christmas shopping to be done, look at the track there, we're still holding some water. If you're looking for some early Christmas shopping to be done and you're in the market for a drone for yourself or for somebody, this might be a really great option. I mean, look how solid that shot is. A Little bit of latency there which is why that shot is so solid. <laughs> it's like the screen is frozen. Ow. <laughs> but uh, it has been a fairly solid shot, and I like the ability, I like having the ability to angle the camera up and down. Now the fact that this is a GPS drone says a lot. If you're gonna get a GPS drone, the main reason you're getting it is so you can, boom, take your hands off the controls, completely hands-free, wherever you want, you can just let go, and the drone is gonna hover there, even in the wind. Uh, if you get a drone that doesn't have a GPS, it might have altitude hold, and if it does, then your, your height is going to stay there, but the drone will move in the wind. Now the reason the drone is moving now is because our battery, the flight battery, got low and it says, hey, I'm so low that I think I need to return to home. And it's very cold today, guys, so that does impact how long it does it'll right. fly. Actually, you know, it didn't continue to come home. I'm surprised that it got a little closer. Huh. That was funny. So what I'm going to do is just press return to home. Just a short press. And we're going to see how accurate this is on its own. This is, I'm not touching anything. Yeah, Abby, I am sorry about that. No big deal. Funky. That it's right over us, you know, I'm expecting that, but that's okay. It's going to actually land probably within about four feet of where it took off. Yeah, that's probably about right. I'm not touching anything. Yeah. So overall, I have to say that's not a bad drone. 
from the drones that we've seen, especially in the last year, we've seen some that are just that we just shake our heads at. This doesn't even come close to that. Sure, there were a couple features that I wish would have worked a little bit better, but overall, I'd give this like one and a half thumbs up. So it's a fairly decent drone. Here's our flight battery. This does come included with the drone. Single cell, 1000 milliamp LiPo. You're gonna get shorter flight times in cold weather and a little bit longer flight times in warmer weather. The transmitter I like a lot because it feels a lot like a PS4 controller even down to the triggers, you know, the back right, joint, uh, back right trigger buttons here, they're shaped and feel a lot like a PS4 controller. I mean, down to the touch screen here, <laughs> although that's not a touch screen, just a display. We've got instructions for beginner pilots. There are prop guards included. I highly recommend you use those if you're a beginner. They're gonna be mounted here on the drone and probably help save your props if you do bump into something. Kinda nice that it comes with extra landing gear. In my experience, I've never broken landing gear on a drone, but they're thinking of you, giving you extra parts, as well as extra propellers, a prop removing tool, little screwdriver in there, even some spare gears if you would happen to strip out one of your gears in your brushed motor setup. It comes with a little USB to micro USB charge cable that is required to charge the battery for the drone. And believe it or not, this has rechargeable batteries in the transmitter and you charge it with that little cord as well. Overall, it's a decent little setup. I'm gonna give this, as I said, one and a half thumbs up out of two. I think that it's okay on the list of budget friendly drones. We'll have it linked in the description box below if you wanna check it out for yourself. Maybe even pick one up for you or someone else you know wanting to get into the drone hobby. This is very easy to fly. The instructions were great. The app worked really well. Yeah, I like it. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.